Already disturbing new details about a deadly shooting outside a sandwich shop in Hialeah. Police say the victim was shot and killed by his ex-girlfriend. Now, she claimed she thought he was going to pull a gun on her, but authorities say surveillance video shows something completely different. Local 10's Leanne Morajon is live now with the very latest. A small shop, a sandwich shop, also known to serve some really good milkshakes, but all of this unfolded right into that uh, restaurant yesterday, and it happened late in the afternoon. The shooter, the alleged shooter, I should say, is now behind bars. Let's show you who she is. She is 22-year-old Crystal Junco. She faces charges of second-degree murder and carrying a concealed weapon. She's now being kept at the Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Facility. Now, all of this happened just before 4 o'clock Monday afternoon at this business, the address 360 West 29th Street in the city of Hialeah. Now, Junco allegedly shot and killed her ex-boyfriend, Junco telling police that it was self-defense and that she saw him reach for what she thought was a gun. But surveillance video, according to police, they say it does not show the victim reaching for anything. And what's more, he was unarmed. Here's a little bit about what was said in court. Uh, revealing some alleged history of domestic violence between the two, as well as uh, some additional details about the shooting itself revealed by the state. In this particular case, uh, she was the victim of a number of threats, including a threat to kill her uh, in the form of an accident uh, with a gun uh, in front of her child at the school uh, where her child goes. So this is a person that for months on end has lived in fear of this individual. The allegations are that the defendant shot the victim three times. What, at one point after she shot the victim, he was lying on the ground and she shot him again. The defendant provided a post Miranda statement indicating that he made a furtive movement and that's why she shot him. But she also stated that she never actually saw a weapon or firearm. We're still working to confirm some additional details about the victim, including his identity. Junko is being held without bond. We're live in Hialeah. I'm Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.